And uh, we have uh, Anthony Joshua. You you pull up the quote, so I'll let you intro this. But Anthony Joshua says, and we're going to talk more about this on you know later in the week when we're going to talk about uh, Anthony Joshua's fight against Jermaine Franklin yeah. and betting on that and what this means from a career perspective. We're going to get into that a little bit right now where he said that he's going to retire. Yeah, so I was looking up some stuff on if Anthony he loses. Joshua. And Box Raw said he said, quote, I will retire if I lose, end quote. Anthony Joshua says he will call time on his career if he loses to Jermaine Franklin. He also said, quote, I'm not here to battle people. If people want me to retire, I will retire. I'm not going to fight people. I'm not going to fight if people don't want me to, end quote. So he's thinking about his legacy in this one too, but he also said that he would like to fight Deontay Wilder, um, Tyson Fury and Joe Joyce as well before he retires. So those are two like contradicting things, but <laughs> well, he clearly doesn't think he's going to lose to Jermaine Franklin. So yeah. there's that. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a good point. He doesn't think he's going to lose to Jermaine Franklin, but there's a possibility that he might. And we are going to do a breakdown for that as well, where we're going to give you our, you know, our best, uh, bets as well and drop our preview for that fight but what are your thoughts on this brian what would it mean for anthony joshua to retire and if he loses this fight should he retire yes to the latter probably i mean I, you know unless he wants to fight club heavyweights for a while and make a lot of money and do it at wembley arena or whatever the case may be not stadium because i don't think people are going to pay to see him in the stadium if he loses his fight right um I, I I think I think it's legit though. I think that's something that because he not that he seems disinterested with boxing, but he does kind of from a, a a distance seem less interested in it than he once did. Probably because like the business side, you know, wears people the fuck out. Um, he swears that he really wanted that Tyson Fury fight, and Tyson Fury was yeah. hard to play ball with. And on I that could note, see that. <laughs> yeah, like on that note, you know, like I question how much Anthony Joshua. Uh, his team rather would have allowed him to want to fight uh, Deontay Wilder at the time because mm -hmm. like there was some back and forth going on there and who really wanted to fight who and you know but with the Tyson Fury thing I mean we've seen the Tyson Fury probably not the easiest guy to do business with but regarding the Jermaine Franklin fight just to put a bow on this yeah I think um, I think if he loses his fight it's going to be hard to like drum up interest for fights after and who would he even fight and who are the people so I think yeah and it Sneaky, he's also sneaky older. Like he's in his mid thirties, I believe, at this point. Yeah, I think, I think he's, he's like thirty three years old. I think he's in like that thirty five right? range. Even let me, I'll check that out. But like I, to me, I, like he's somebody. Sure, he's thirty three years old. Yeah, he's, he's thirty three. Yeah. So yeah, okay. So you were right. I was wrong. Fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we should but, we should make a ticker. Yeah, should tell yeah. one Brian zero. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do that. Boxing fans will jump in your ass about shit like that. So you know, whatever. Um, but Anthony Joshua to, to put a ball on this. Yeah, I think uh, if he loses this fight, which I don't, I'm not sure he will. Right, I don't think he will necessarily. But if he did, there's then, a chance, man. There's a chance he could. Right. Look, Jermaine Franklin. I'm gonna save it for when we actually like get a deep breakdown into this. But Jermaine Franklin is a solid heavyweight who's earned this opportunity and I think deserves a level of respect going into this fight. Uh, for now, I'll leave it at that. For me, Anthony Joshua, I think, I think he will win this fight against Jermaine Franklin. I think there's so much talk about what it's going to mean for his career if he loses this one because he does have three L's on his record. Lost twice to Usyk, and then, of course, he lost to Andy Ruiz, which he ended up avenging after. But that was like the first thing... I think when he lost to Andy Ruiz, where people were just stunned, right? Because Ruiz shocked the world that time. And then even in his fight against Usyk, I think a lot of people had taken Anthony Joshua in that first fight because Usyk was coming in from cruiserweight. He was a smaller man. And we all know that Anthony Joshua has heavy hands. At the end of the day, though, I think we've always wanted to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. I think regardless of what happens in this fight. And I do think Joshua will beat Franklin, although I think Franklin is a very formidable opponent. Like this is not going to be an easy, easy fight. Also, he switched up trainers, Anthony Joshua training with Derek James, mm -hmm. which I'm like, how is he going to look? Is he yeah. going to look different? I'm really curious to see how Anthony Joshua looks because this could also revive his career. What if he's a total different fighter and has put everything together? 
Like, we don't know. But Derek James, we know how good of a trainer he is. But I think at the end of the day, there's still some fights that he would sell out, sell out stadiums. I'm going to be real with you because people really love Anthony Joshua in the UK. And he's a like he's a nice guy. He's a really, really nice guy. He's not one of those guys that are talking a bunch of smack, saying disrespectful stuff. But here's the thing. I would pay to see Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, easy. That's a fight I've always wanted. And I would pay to see him fight Tyson Fury. And when we go back to Anthony Joshua's resume, he has one of the best resumes in the heavyweight division, right? I know he lost to Usyk twice, but he got in the ring with them. You know, he he fought. Uh, Pulev Second one was won. close too. To his yeah, fight. yeah, and and he fought better in that second fight, right? Fought Pulev, uh, beat Andy Ruiz after he lost to him, avenged him, uh, beat Povetkin, Joseph Parker, and Klitschko as well. And I think that Klitschko fight was the first one where we were like, "Whoa, Anthony Joshua is that dude." Dylan because White also when Dylan White was undefeated. Yeah, so he has a great resume. And so that's the thing that I always go back to for Anthony Joshua, where I'm like, man, I know some people aren't totally sold on him, but the guy has one of the best heavyweight resumes in boxing. So for me, it's like, I think we're going to see a different version of Anthony Joshua. And yeah, I think he's like, yo, I'll, I'll retire. You know what I mean? If, if I lose him, because he knows what's on the line. It's his legacy at this point. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I don't think Anthony Joshua even has to fight at this point in his career. He's made a gank of money. You know what I mean? He's gank? made, yeah, it might be a Canadian thing, but he's made a lot of money, dude. Like a lot of money where it's like, also he's a, he, he's a good looking guy. Like he could easily shift to doing something else than boxing. He doesn't have to be a boxer, dude. You know what gank? I mean? So I've never heard gank before. My I'm still stuck on that. Apologies. I have never heard gank before in my life. I mean, listen, listen. We need to get about to the Anthony, move back into the states. When like, it's <laughs> been talking about Anthony Joshua, though, I think a lot. I know you're not the biggest fan of his. Um, as a boxer, as a person, I can't. I can't. Well, yeah, that. I'm not asking you. About, how do you think I, his personality is? What do you, <laughs> say? Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm literally asking about boxing, man. <laughs> I also think some of his fans are nuts. But as I'm, as as we've learned over the years, a lot of boxers have stands who are fucking out of this world. But anyway. Yeah, but we will also break down that Anthony Joshua, Jermaine Franklin fight. We're going to give you our best bets as well. So make sure to keep it locked here on the mandatory. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button as well. It helps the channel grow. And also, if you have a couple of minutes, leave a rate and review. You can also just hit those five stars if you like because um, that's easier than leaving a rate and review. It takes like two seconds. And also subscribe to us like on wherever you stream any of your shows as well. We're on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you stream your stuff. So thank you.